Hi, hello. This is Nofa Tenzaki. Punya channel? Yes, this is me. I couldn't sleep. I was so bored. So I wanted to film something but I'm not in the mood to put myself in front of the camera. So that is why I assigned my tongkat to be the spoke person for this video. <laughs> so yeah, it just so happened that I need to clean up my um, palette drawer. If you have seen my uh, vanity tour, you know what's going on there. Uh, that, that is where I store all of my eyeshadow palettes. And back then, I kind of have a system but you know, it seems like the system has failed me too many times. So. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys what's going on in there and then the ala nak kemai tu, I'm going to go through all of the palettes one by one and I'm going to show you my favorite uh, palette that I definitely recommend. Okay, let's go. Hello and behold. Don't judge me please. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to take out everything in here one by one and I'm going to reorganize them if that even possible. So the first palette that I have over here is this um, Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit in collaboration in collaboration with Anastasia Bevel Hills. Ta -da! I've used this in my tutorials so many times. I think they are very versatile. I think you won't probably need any more highlights if you have this palette because I mean you have coral shade over here, the macam champagne shade, the gold and more bronzy color and this orange highlighters and then yang paling penting ya, sebab ada white highlighter dekat sini so you can mix and match ok kalau macam ni terlalu orange boleh campur dengan sini ni boleh campur dengan sini untuk menampakkan ser dia lebih ah, pop gitu so this highlighter cantik menarik tertarik kau memang ada bomb but it has some spark of glitters so if you're not a fan of that but I don't think the glitters show up too much on my skin and it's a great and beautiful one Right. So here I have my Zoeva palette. I have three over here. So I bought this masa mula-mula sebelum Sephora.my tu. Dia jadi Sephora.my. Sebelum dia Sephora.my, dia website nama apa tak dah tak ingat. So I bought it from there and it was way cheaper back then. Sekarang ni macam dah sepatu lebih. I think I bought this less than 100 sebelum ni. I have Coco Blend palette, Rodeo Bell palette and Love is a story palette. So this is how the inside looks like. Love is a story is definitely has more um, colorful and bold colors. But the best thing about all of these three palettes is that they have the highlighting shade and also a crease color. So you know if you are not into these bold colors, you can just use the neutral colors over here. But that's kind of defeat the purpose. I don't even know why I bought this. I don't really wish for it that much. So this one is Rodeo Bell. This is how the inside looks like. My god. See? I told you. Dia ada colorful, colorful, bold colors. Tapi dia mesti ada highlighting color dengan uh, apa ni? Crease colors. Dulu, tak ada banyak sangat palette yang have this uh, like uh, cranberry color. So, I was so intrigued by this shade. And masa tu pun, I was so into colorful eyeshadows. So, that is why I picked this palette up. And my absolute favorite palette from Zoeva is the Coco Blend. Tara! I think you definitely will get so much use out of this uh, palette. So out of the three, I definitely recommend this palette. All of the Zoeva uh, palette are very pigmented and buttery and easy to blend and cantik in general. But I definitely recommend the Zoeva Coco Blend sebab dia lagi macam uh, relevant. <laughs> so over here, I have my favorite palette. My all-time favorite palette. The Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Of course, me being a very cemekap person, dah berlemah habis dah. I mean, if you are into warm colors, warm cranberry, berry berry colors, do I need to say anymore? It's a little bit pricey, I think dalam 200. But if you ask me, I think it is definitely worth it. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend this one. It is very good, very good. Okay, this is my first uh, palette for Urban Decay. So although I am a solid makeup junkie, I don't have any of the apa, Urban Decay Naked Palette yang for fuller tu. Urban Decay Naked 1, 2, 3 tu semua tak ada. Back then, I was so into colourful colours more than neutral colours. So when Urban Decay came out with this uh, electric palette, I was so electrified. <laughs> so these shadows, uh, if I'm not mistaken, are pressed pigments. So they are... That's really pigmented. Look at that. Look at that. This is a contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
I don't really use the shades in here that much except for this for my contour and kadang-kadang I use this banana powder for my under eyes but I definitely tak pernah guna hard this one at all so in my opinion tak payah belilah contour kit ni sampai satu kit if you are not a professional MUA because you definitely don't need all of the shades here I have my Smashbox Double Exposure Palette so this palette katanya can be used wet and dry so you can use it wet without um you know damaging the eyeshadows don't really know why I bought this palette there are no particular um, shades that stood out. Uh, honestly, I don't really use this that much. So, tak payah beli. <laughs> this to me is like a hidden gem. I spoke about this in my apa, top recommendation from drugstore. If you want to know my um, opinion on this palette, check out that video. Kalau you guys macam nak try colorful eyeshadows and tak nak splurge on the electric uh, Urban Decay palette tu, boleh try hat ni je. So I have three um, bedak yang sesat dalam ni because my bedak drawer is already overflowed. Kena menumpang set duk kat sini. This one, Graftobian palette. So I bought this one because I used to do bridal makeup. So, this is a very great uh, foundation palette untuk makeup kan orang. Ataupun nak makeup di sini pun boleh saja. Very creamy, easy to blend, long lasting. So biasalah cemekat-cemekat ni memang terbelah dua habis lah palette ni. So this one Onigiri palette by Kat Von D. These are holographic uh, eyeshadows. They look kind of the same in the pen but katanya holographic kan. So bila swatch baru nampak ni purple, ni apa ni kalau apa green. This one pink. Oh my. Ni apa ni? Ada perayaan holy ke apa ni? Ni macam baru balik daripada berlakon cerita mohon batin ya. So anyway, beautiful holography uh, palette. I use this mostly as my inner corner highlight and they are very reflective, very holographic, very beautiful. Hey, okay. So this one is my first NARS uh, eyeshadow. Okay, this is the duo palette in the shade Isol. Very beautiful um, golden color and a copper color. Also, is it only me? Nas punya packaging ni, masa mula-mula beli tu memang lawa. Lama-lama dia jadi melekit. Tengok ni habis segala sawang-sawang debu-debu melekat. Tengok ni, uh, powder ni pun sama. Apa ni? Apa ni? Such a big turn off. So, still lah palette. This is the... This is the Soul palette. It has a lot of uh, neutrals. Hmm, this one is okey lah. Bukanlah macam nak derhaka maling kundang ke apa. Tapi bila dah try... So many other eyeshadows yang sangat pigmented and very buttery. Bila you got the taste of a very creamy pigmented eyeshadows, you will realize that eyeshadows palette macam ni sebenarnya biasa je, biasa je. Tak mencapai standard biawan. Okay, tak ada pun tak apa. Oh, mampu eh. This is a local brand glitter, uh, Unicorn Luster. This is the limited edition one. Yang dikenali sebagai Goldie V3 I've used this in my tutorial I don't have a place to store this yet So It just kind of live in here for now Lagipun packaging dia cantik kot So this one Is a limited edition blush palette from Tarte I really really love the colors in here So Tarte punya blush Memang um, Tidak dinafikan Very long wearing Very beautiful but they are so pricey. Satu pen tu je rasa dalam RM120. So every time kalau ada holiday season ke, they always come out with the limited edition palette macam ni. This palette I think it cost less than 200 per palette ni. And I don't think that uh, they compromise the formula of this blush when they squeeze them all in this palette and make it cheaper. I think the products are definitely lesser than the single pen. It's very pigmented so you don't have to use that many. I use this so many times tapi tak habis-habis pun. So, they are definitely worth it. Okay. So, over here I have Simplicity punya eyeshadows. So, masa mula-mula dok main makeup-makeup dulu. I bought this mini palette. The pigmentation is definitely there. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And then, the Silky Girl palette. Uh, honestly, I bought this mainly because I want to do the apa? nothing over RM40 uh, makeup tutorial. So, um, faham je lah. Tapi if you are a beginner, I am maybe tak payah juga kot. <laughs> it is not that impressive for me to recommend. I definitely would recommend the Simplicity punya palette hat kecil tadi. More than this one. So, there's that. So, this one is a single eyeshadow from The Balm. I got this for free. Masa beli pun dah tak kat sasar. 
This one is a uh, Sigma palette. The apa nama dia? Warm Neutrals. Okay, this palette color swatch. Tengok ya. Memanglah nampak sangat uh, pigmented kan. But this is one of the palettes yang bila swatch tu memang rasa oh pigmentednya cantiknya. Tapi when apply on the eyes guna berus, dia macam mm, mm, not so impressive on the eyes. The limited edition uh, palette from Nas. This is definitely worth it. I don't remember how much I bought this. I was so megalopok to buy this um, palette mainly because I've been wanting to try uh, Nas Laguna bronzer and also uh, Nars punya blush. Lepas tu, they come out with this limited edition palette that has Laguna bronzer. Ada two limited edition blush and two fits um, shade, highlight and contouring shade. So they are definitely worth it in my opinion. I use this Laguna bronzer off camera a lot and also the blushes. So, limited edition dah tak ada dah. Tapi, cantik lah. Sehubungan dengan itu, I bought The, from the same collection Dia punya eyeshadow palette Ni apa ni Nars punya yang Boleh pakai dry and boleh, boleh pakai uh, wet Kalau pakai wet katanya lagi pigmented Honestly I don't think that They are so mind blowing or anything So sekian The famous Amos Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette This is definitely one of the top recommended palette That I want to recommend for you guys For you to try Especially if you like warm neutral colors I recommend this one And also the Zoeva Coco Blend palette I don't think that you need both um, I don't remember Zoeva punya palette tu berapa But um, that one is definitely cheaper than this one Tapi that one ada berapa je Asyidu 10 ke 12 This one ada banyak But this one is definitely a great quality palette Kalau you guys nak travel but, Well actually I don't recommend this to travel Sebab dia berat Lagi berat daripada bekas pensel masa sekolah terdekat dulu. Hat buka-buka ada 2-3 tingkat dalam. Oh, okay, sorry. Generation gap di situ. So, I'm going to save the Z palette for last. So, this one. Carly Bible Dulux Edition palette. So, I use this in my uh, Get Ready With Me. My chatty chit chat Get Ready With Me. And if you guys already saw that one, you guys know how I feel about this palette. I don't really like the matte eyeshadows. But I love the shimmer shades and I love all the highlighting colors. Rasa macam nak Jangan ambil hat ni keluar Galaxy Chic Palette by BH Cosmetics Pun dah lama gila I bought this one This is a big eyeshadow palette So they don't have really much pigmentation Tapi kalau guna basah uh, You will definitely get some pigmentation out of this palette Tak guna lah uh, Bukan palette Okay palette pun tak guna juga so, Palette ni pun tak apa-apa nak guna Dan memang tak guna So goodbye So this This one Queen palette. This one is fairly new. I just use this once. This is a local brand. Tada! See, see, amazing, dah. Amazing. You have five um, matte eyeshadows and five glitter eyeshadows. Secara dasarnya nampak macam matte eyeshadows dengan glitter ni macam very matchy matchy. Except for these two, obviously. So this uh, eyeshadow ni is very big compared to the normal size eyeshadow. Okay, these four eyeshadows are very very pigmented. I have swatched this in my Instagram. Pasi <laughs> pula tak tak bawang lagi kali ni. So anyway, they are very pigmented except for this one, which I don't really mind because I don't really care for this color. And you get five glittery eyeshadows. Uh, I think this palette retails for eighty five, yep, ninety five ringgit. Less than 100 ringgit for sure. They are definitely bang for your bucks. Definitely worth it. Uh, I got this from Olala Makeup. I will link the IG shop that I got this from down below. So, go get yourself one. Okay, so, set now. Kat dalam-dalam ni, ada lagi tak? Yeah. Yeah. So, ini pun one of the eyeshadows yang macam highly rave back then. Very buttery, very creamy. Tapi dia punya transition colour tu macam very cool tone for my liking. So, I don't use them that much except for the shimmery colours. This one garnet ni. Eh, ni. <laughs> Nak garnet, apa tu pegang sini? Ah, sama lah. This one garnet ni dengan pewter ni. Very cantik. So, I have these two uh, custom eyeshadow palette from Elianto. So, Elianto ni is one of the first makeup product that I tried when I got myself into makeup because Elianto is very affordable for beginners. So, they have uh, tons of uh, single eyeshadows. 
Tapi sekarang ni Macam tak ada dah Okay ada lah Ada lah lagi single eyeshadow Tapi they are not as awesome as they used to be Ni memang fenomena yang sangat rare For me to hit pen on eyeshadows Tapi nampak ni Because I really really love them So yeah I wanted to try uh, Back the eyeshadows from LM2 Tapi hat yang baru ni Dia punya shade selection tu Dah lah tak berapa Pasal so, eyeshadows pun dah tak macam pigmented macam dulu Why why Antara palette yang pertama I bought sebelum jadi makeup monster So I have the sunset palette There are few hits and misses in this uh, palette Ada colour yang pigmented, ada yang tak And this one is the Ultra Max V1 I don't really think this uh, colourful This one is available in Sephora colourful ni Tapi kalau ada pun I don't recommend them Sebab dia rasa macam Dia macam very dry Macam macam kapok But my absolute favourite From Sleep Palette is <gasps> Patah beribu Simpas saipoh Hancok pedarai So anyway this one is my favourite Very pigmented Especially the apa, uh, The dark colours I don't feel bad that this one pecah Because I barely use this one I use mostly this one This one this one very cantik and this one and also this one Woo! Let's talk about these two palettes from Marc Jacobs Very fancy, si ada pouch lagi This one is the Lolita palette and this one is the Siren if I'm not mistaken Yes, the Siren palette This one has neutral colours I don't really like this one Tak best in my opinion But I did not buy this myself I won this in a Sephora contest Masa tu Mark Jacobs baru masuk kot dalam Sephora And they did like a contest It was the best day of my life When I got the notification that I won This one I got for free So tak galak sangat lah tak suka But I just keep it for the memory And this one I purchased this myself Sebab Kan dah kata Back then I am so into colourful Eyeshadows uh, This was a limited edition palette The eyeshadows are absolutely gorgeous very pigmented I love them I love them very beautiful to look at tak mampu nak beli handbag Mark Jacob beli palette Mark Jacob dengan pouch ni pun dah cukup dah this is a custom made uh, palette so I took out all of the single eyeshadows and I consolidated them into a Z palette which I will be showing you guys next and this one also color pop uh, palette ada 4 single eyeshadow tapi dah bawa keluar and I've seen in Instagram Ada orang buat beauty hack They remove this Silver part Because bawah ni magnetic So bila remove ni Instead of just use This uh, entire palette for To store for eyeshadows You can use You can use this to store up to I don't know 12 eyeshadows kot Mini Z palette This one Tengok Siapa yang bermaharaja lela dalam ni Duk sorang-sorang dalam tu This is the foil eyeshadow From Makeup Geek it's in the shade Grandstand So foil eyeshadow ni is very fragile So pada satu hari dia jatuh And pecah berderai Masa dalam palette ni I just cannot throw this away Because I really really love the colour So I need to buy a fixing rubbing alcohol So that I can press them back into this uh, pan But until then Bersemadilah dalam tu Set sorang-sorang So over here I have my three palettes these two are large uh, magnetic palette from Z palette and this one is XL palette from Olala Makeup. I will link it down below if you are interested to buy this one. So this palette contains all of my um, shimmery shadows. Makeup Geek, I think these are all Makeup Geek. So in here I have more Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I have Makeup Geek blushes over here. And these two are from Makeup Forever. And in this large palette, I put all of my matte eyeshadows and also my glitter eyeshadows. Dalam ni ada Colourpop Ada Makeup Geek And ada Anastasia Beverly Hills punya matte eyeshadows So bila dah put them all together macam ni I use them more often Than bila separate them into their own um, palette So okay Langkah yang bijak Lepas tu ada space kosong So I put all of my glittery eyeshadows I highly recommend for you to check out Makeup Geek eyeshadow And also Colourpop single eyeshadows I cannot recommend one over the other Sebab dua-dua pun sama pigmented Sama cantik They are both very awesome uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills punya eyeshadows pun awesome juga Tapi ya yeah, mahal 
baik beli dia punya pelet yang modern renaissance tu daripada beli dia punya single edge rose ok so da 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 jom kita kemas da 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 trombol balik So this is the new system all clean up. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and thank you sebab sama-sama kita mengemas drawer ni. So yeah, thank you for watching. I see you in my next video. Bye.